Hello everybody, and welcome back to beautiful Erlingrot. Uh, today, what I'll be doing is I'll be buying a tractor, some implements for the new field, and uh, I'll probably do some field work as well, yeah. But first off, gotta do some important work and take care of the cows. Drop that front weight right there. I did work out I'm pretty sure I've already figured out what all I want to buy which one of the implements I'm thinking about buying is still up in the air but so far my estimated total is going to be around uh, 463 excuse me 463,650 dollars so pretty steep but I am going to save money and not have to buy a uh, chisel at least because I plan on um, the cedar I'm going to buy. It's one that doesn't require me to cultivate. So that will be pretty nice. Which hopefully I'll make a good chunk of money back. Because once I buy that stuff and get that field taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, do some grass work that probably will be on a different video oh, i need to grab the cows he knew uh hay bale as well yeah that's what this is one of the reasons why i've decided it'll probably be best for me to just go ahead and lease the combine since yeah that right there is the price pretty close to the price of a combine i think it's a little bit higher than a combine but I'm able to buy more than I would be if I was buying a combine as well. And which I did decide also, I think I'm going to sell that little up. Uh, oh, I can't get this bail off. <laughs> I need to go down further, that's why. There we go, cows. I think I'm going to sell that little push mower thing that I have because I've never used it before. I don't have any plans on using it. And uh, I think I'm going to sell the old tractor I have too. Yeah, it's cool looking thing. I, might, I think I'll actually sell the pickup truck as well because I, <laughs> I need the money for the farmer if I want to get grow. Which is getting closer to the release of FS22 as well because I need to be speeding up stuff. I'm considering enabling turning on global company because there's a mod on there that allows you to lease fields I believe and um, obviously that's not the same as owning them but would give me more fields to take care of and as such I'd be getting more money that I could buy more fields faster yeah, let me go ahead and park this tractor over here. I think that is everything the cows need today. I'll check my menu. Let's see here. Yeah, their cleanliness is 100%. Water's full. Hay is good. Let's see. I got 5,921 liters of milk. I think I'm going to wait to sell the milk until there's enough to fill up my trailer, which holds 8,000 liters. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and sell the stuff I told you I was going to sell and go ahead and buy that equipment. All right, guys. So this is what I bought. I went ahead and bought Massey Ferguson 8732. It has, uh, I believe it's 350 or 60 horsepower. I'm not quite sure yet. I don't remember. I bought this cedar, which I saved money by, the, by buying this cedar. Because this is one that allows me not to have to chisel before planting my field. So I can just, you know, go no-till. I can save money without not have to buy a chisel. Though, I would like to buy one eventually. Just so I can... Uh, plant like sunflowers and stuff like that 
And then I bought this uh, sprayer right here as well. Oh, and also this little weight that's hiding right here. Oh, and another good thing about this, uh, another way this cedar has saved me money as well, is not only do I not have to buy a cultivator, but I don't have to buy a fertilizer spreader because this is one of those cedars that holds fertilizer as well. So that's pretty sweet. I think what I'll do today, go ahead and take the sprayer. You know what, though? I know it'll look like a junkyard, but I might, for the time being, keep my equipment just down here, laying next to the field. <laughs> just so I don't have to, because this is my only field, you know? I don't know. I think it'd probably be better to just take it back to the shop. I think that's what I'll do. This is a nice tractor, though that I'll just leave the cedar here because I'll have to come back for it to do my field or actually you know what just to keep things moving along smoothly I won't pick my sprayer up yet because I can right after I plant this field I'll go ahead and spray it with liquid fertilizer and herbicide I'm afraid I might have to take out another loan though. <laughs> to buy a uh, seed and uh Oh no, I hit a fertilizer bag. I'm afraid I might have to take out another loan in order to buy a uh, seed and liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Let's go ahead and fill up fertilizer. Hopefully it doesn't use too much fertilizer. All right, only took up two boxes. Let me go ahead. Uh, I think it says it holds 5,000 liters. It has 2,000 fertilizer in it, so I should only need 3,000 liters. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go let's sing all them songs from a long time ago and pine for them old days of yore well let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees let me fly like the leaves when they fall Well, let my mind go serene Like a cool water stream That runs from the mountain so tall Oh, take me back down the old dirt road pass on the field first planting is just about done now I never did lease the uh, soil sampling stuff 
because I remembered I have this mod on here called uh, a crop sensor. I, if I remember correctly, I believe it works just like the soil sampler, but instead of taking samples, you mount it on the front of your tractor and when you're driving through the field, it like scans the soil or something like that to uh, get a reading on it. So, and it's only like a thousand bucks to cheat uh, to a lease. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll lease that and mount it on the front of my tractor when I'm spraying my field with herbicide. Before I do that though, I want to come up here over here and just refill this fertilizer tank on my tractor. All right, guys, back down here at the shop. Now, before I get started, it's time for a sad part. I gotta get rid of the electric tractor. I need the money, and yeah, I just don't really see the point of keeping it around since the Lintrack can do everything this thing can do, and then some. So, goodbye, electric tractor. It was fun having you. Ah, uh, my bank account likes that. I could, I did, oh, actually, too. While I'm at it, I'm going to sell this plow. I'm never going to use it. Alright. Looks like now, I don't, uh, I guess I still have. I was going to say, I've sold a lot of my starting equipment now. I hope early spring works on here. I, it's been so long since I've played without seasons mod, I don't remember if you have to wait for the weeds to sprout to spray. Because I know on seasons mod, you can spray without the weeds being up here and it'll do its job but I don't know about playing without the mod Alright guys, got this job done. Now that was pretty nice. Aside from the in-row pass, I only had to make three passes, but let me hit these spots I missed real quick, because I see weeds sprouting out there. I wasn't going to worry about these little tiny strips I missed, but now that I see some weeds growing out there, I'll just go ahead and hit them real quick. Is that one? There we go. All right. I think still folding up. That's yeah, good enough. Go ahead and empty it over here away from everything. Leave it high. Yep. 
I will go ahead and just drop the sprayer right here. I'll need it for fertilizer. Now let me check and see if I can use this crop sensor without there being crop sprouted. Now if this does work, I'll need my mini map. Let's see where I be on to see where I need to have it positioned. Let me just pop it open right here. Uh, how do I use this thing? B. Okay, it looks like it's working. Far out. All right, guys, got that job done, and my beans have sprouted. So I need to hurry up and get that sprayed before they get tall enough that I'll crush them with my tracks, with my tires, I mean. Um, I think that I'll have to wait till next video. You know what, I got time today, I can still do that. So I'll go ahead and knock that out. First, I wanna check my soil map to see Okay, so I did do, so I got my soil reading now, sweet. Okay, there's a good mixture of soil. I got loamy sand right here. That's just sandy loam and loam. Not sure what that blue is. Is that, oh, that's just the barrier of the field, okay. Then, got pH levels. Nitrogen level, oh, that's pretty good. Got the whole field. Oh, I wonder if it's good throughout the whole field since I, uh, uh, since I uh, already fertilized it with solid fertilizer. Now, let me go ahead and fill this baby up with some, uh, whatever you call it, <laughs> uh, liquid fertilizer. <laughs> there you go. Now, hopefully. I can get away with just using one again. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright guys. I just finished with that. I reset the clock back to 5 times speed. Uh, thankfully, I'm going to save a lot of money on fertilizer. Because I think it only applied it on 3 spots. And which actually... It applied it down there on the end row, but that was me activating it to kind of mark where I needed to line up at but yeah so hopefully this field should yield extremely well and I'll just go ahead and keep the fertilizer in here I think what I'll do is once I harvest the bean field I'll just go ahead and spray it then before I uh 
plant it. I don't know if that'll mess it up or not, actually. I don't know that. I don't see why it would mess it up. I don't know. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> yeah, let me go ahead and park this spare. I'll park it over here in this barn as well. Yes, cows, I hear you. I'll park it right over here. But yeah, I believe that will be it for today's video. Oh, these girls are already making a mess. You filthy girls. Come on, what are you doing? So yeah, that'll be it for today's video. Uh, thank you all so very much for watching. And me, and all my cows, and the cow that thinks it's a horse. We can't wait to see you all again very soon. Bye.